All right, so I thought I'd just talk you through uh, some speaker system stuff that's going on here at Exeter Showground. Uh, I'm using L Acoustics Cara. Uh, now, Cara is a, a mid size kind of compact line array system. It's a 10 degree in the vertical by 100 and well, 110 degrees in the horizontal. Great coverage. And in a space like this, which is quite nasty and reverberant, effectively, we're doing an event in a, in a cattle shed. I mean, if you have a look around, I'll t get Dave to spin around. Uh, I've had to do quite a lot of acoustic treatment to try and get the reverb time of this venue under some kind of control. There's places where we can't put drape. Uh, and also when you, when you look at an, a, an audio solution for a customer, then obviously this draping costs in terms of getting time. But if you don't get control of the venue, then any speaker system is going to fail in terms of the quality of audio that it can deliver to the, uh, to the listening audience. So we've done an amount of control of um, the environment here, which is really the first thing you have to get right before you think about speaker systems. And then I'm using L Acoustics Cara. Uh, I'm using nine boxes aside. If you have a look at the array that you can, you can see that. And here we're, we're dealing with a, a 60 meter kind of audience space. Uh, which nine box aside is coping with more than amply, to be honest. Uh, Cara, once it starts coming together as nine box, I really like the way that it sounds. Um, uh, I would say as a nine box hang, it's kind of perfect really, which is why I like it. Um, let's go and have a look at the front fill uh, solution and the subs. Um, okay, so um, with uh, the Cara system, I'm using L Acoustics, uh, SB18 subs. Um, these are being run at um, 60 hertz mode. There's quite a lot of low end power in Cara as a system. So the right kind of crossover frequency to use with it, the approved kind of frequency is to go down to 60 hertz. And that's what the SB18 are doing. You'll notice they're in a cardioid configuration. The bottom speaker is spun around and it's, it's driven by a different process channel of the amplifier with time alignment and phase alignment, which means that we end up with a cardioid subfield. So there's less base energy uh, being developed behind the stack, probably as much as 20 dB down compared to the front. And this has a number of uh, good effects for us. It makes the base in the venue sound a lot tighter, especially in a venue like this, which is very woolly in, in, and reverberant in the low end. The draping solution that we put in to control the ambient sound is effective at low, mid and high frequencies, but not very effective at bass. So it's really important that we try and get as much control of pattern into the bass system as we possibly can. And that's why we use these cardioid, cardioid configurations. So it sounds better at front of house. The other thing that it's doing is it's putting less bass energy onto the stage. And if you put less bass energy onto the stage, well, basically the band don't feel the needs for such high levels of onstage monitoring. And uh, it means that all of the levels go down which is also good for the sound quality that we get at front of house. Because if you've got a lot of stage noise, then the only way you can get over that is by turning the front of house system up to maintain clarity. It's like a signal to noise ratio issue. And from the front of house engineer's point of view, any ambient stage noise is effectively noise. It's not useful signal to us. It's kind of secondhand information. So the use of cardioid subs does reduce uh, that stage noise. Because now, uh, if you look up, we're pretty much underneath the uh, main speaker system uh, in the way that we've used the, we've used the front lighting truss to hang the main PA, which effectively is an issue of budget. We have to put less points in. Um, when you do an event like this, there's a lot of decisions that get made according to uh, financial constraints. And um, uh, so um, to help with that, we're using a front fill system um, which makes sure that we get energy into the first few rows of the audience. And that front fill system is we're using L Acoustics arcs uh, wide. These are uh, the arcs wide boxes, which are 90 degrees in the way they're being used on, uh, in their horizontal mode. They're 90 degrees wide by 30 degrees in the vertical. So still good tight coverage in the vertical, which means I'm not exciting the roof space with high frequencies. I'm keeping the energy onto the audience area. So this is um, a rack of L Acoustics uh, LA8 amplifiers. The top three amplifiers are responsible for looking after the Cara system that we saw flown earlier. The next amplifier is looking after subs. 
These are SB18s in 60 hertz mode running in cardioid. And then the bottom amplifier uh, is uh, looking after the WIFO, which are the front fill boxes that we showed you, both on top of the subs and also out firing on stands. And all of this is being run uh, off of one single digital AES feed that comes out of the back of the uh, Midas uh, console and we therefore stay in the digital domain. So um, my name is Mark Payne, I've been here with David Heath. Uh, together we're producing uh, sound, lighting and video and environment and draping and staging uh, for the Together at West Point event and it's been my pleasure to take you through some of the uh, the audio solutions in particular that we've used here. Uh, you can contact me, uh, mark at sflgroup.co.uk and why not visit our website at www.sflgroup.co.uk.